Really chasing away Wilson's rifleman. Towards the center, it looks like we do have some brave riflemen trying to take care of the central victory point, and they do. They're definitely going to cap that. You can see them hitting uh, Vet 2 as well, uh, just kind of getting some uh, getting some random kills here in these uh, Grenadiers. Grenadiers not really sure what to do at this point in the game. Uh, HMG team setting up right now, and notice these overlapping HMG teams. It makes it really, really hard for Air Taylor's uh, giant balls of infantry to be able to charge in and do anything, but no, he's not going to be put off by that whatsoever. Air Taylor right now moving in on the right-hand side of the map, you can see, in huge amounts of force. Uh, he knows there's anti-tank guns here. He doesn't care. He's just going to charge on in. We have a massive, massive attack going on right now. Uh, Sherman tank uh, unopposed right now until this uh, pack anti-tank uh, anti gun can get some shots on him. You can see he has revealed these mines. He does have minesweepers in the field. Uh, but no, he is not putting enough damage onto these anti-tank guns. Anti-tank guns are about to start getting some shots off here. Uh, these infantry really, really need to do some damage and it looks like no. Forced, uh, having to retreat the rest of his infantry here, now backing away. Anti-tank guns just plucking away like crazy there. Oh no, Greyhound armor car uh, taking a lot of damage. Both Shermans really wounded here. Ouch. Look at the Sherman here down at 10% hit points a uh, greyhound armor car exploding into wreckage right now and uh, all of these uh, all of these sherman tanks are having to go away that was just a terrible terrible attack unfortunately for air taylor uh, both of these anti-tank guns were able to swivel around on time uh, and just do a lot of damage from you can see these heavy machine gun teams uh, just kind of repositioning willy-nilly here just kind of facing all over the place a uh, single allied heavy machine gun team is out there but that's definitely uh, too little too late <gasps> and we do we do we've got a tiger on the field right now and an Ostwin flak panzer this is exactly what Krypton needs oh my god and air Taylor all of his tanks right now are severely severely wounded uh, you can see he is moving up his captured anti-tank gun right now capture anti-tank gun definitely gonna start taking some pot shots yes uh, you can see not doing too much damage to that front armor, though. And, uh, man, that Ostwind and this Tiger are just pounding away at this building here. Uh, absolutely killing the heavy machine gun team in there. Uh, Tiger taking a light amount of damage here. The third shot now for that pack anti-tank gun. Uh, doing maybe 10-15% damage to it, but that's that's not too bad. Uh, meanwhile, two kills for the Ostwin Flak Panzer. Uh, by the way, two victory points now up. You can see that it looks like this heavy machine gun team actually ran up and capped that victory point. Uh, so 98 points only for Krypton and 400 35 for Air Taylor. However, Krypton does have a humongous central presence right now with this Ostwin Flak Panzer and this Tiger. Oh my god, that is looking freaky. So, what are Air Taylor's options right now? He's got the right idea. He needs uh, Sherman tanks, anti tank guns, uh, long barrel upgrade if he can afford it, uh, and just to continue keeping his blobs alive. Uh, that's probably his best bet right now. I think the only the only surefire way to win this now is with superior strategies and tactics and flanking and things like that. So, um, but he, he's got the right army for it. You know, obviously they both have the right army for it. They both are doing a good job of uh, having a nice healthy mix of units here. So, uh, looks like giant blob on the left here for Air Taylor. Uh, airborne constantly reinforcing on the fly there. And uh, really just kind of sitting around. It looks like Krypton knows if he can just hang on to this middle position, he'll be okay. Uh, he does have a really, really impressive kind of barrage of heavy machine gun teams just kind of all around here. Uh, central anti-tank guns. And again, this pesky bunker has just been nonstop uh, producing grenadiers. Uh, I have lost track of how many squads he's made uh, a long time ago, but I'm guessing it's like three or four or five. Uh, meanwhile, we do have this Ostwin Flak Panzer now coming around here on the left-hand side. Uh, you can see it looks like these airborne now have been upgraded to have their recoilless rifles. Uh, recoilless rifles taking some pot shots at this Ostwin from out the window there. Uh, those are two units that, that very <laughs> very mutually counter each other. The Ostwin wrecks uh, paratroopers and the paratroopers wreck an Ostwin. So uh, add a little bit of cover in a building and uh, suddenly that looks a lot better. But of course, of course, a Sherman tank has no trouble whatsoever against an Ostwin. And uh, this thing is going to have to back away for the time being. Only two kills so far, those two machine gunners we saw earlier. Uh, meanwhile, Rifleman capping this munitions point here. And uh, the Tiger is still just kind of hanging out here in the center. Uh, looks like he's poking up a little bit. That could be dangerous. Uh, oh, we do have some Grenadiers up here trying to cap this mortar team. Uh, Grenadiers move away. Oh, no! The Sherman tank gets the kill on the repossessed mortar there. So uh, he's going to have to make his own if he wants it. Uh, meanwhile, uh, just continuing to cover the left-hand side here. I do love the fact that he's got this. Uh, he's got a, a Sherman tank and an anti-tank gun uh, guarding this position right now, kind of making that his front. Once again, using the old smoke trick. So he's dropping, covering smoke. Uh, kind of uh, screwing up this heavy machine gun team while he himself is trying to capture this point. You can see even becoming unsuppressed while all that's going on. Uh, just working his way through, trying to cap that victory point. Uh, he definitely needs to regain some control here. Pretty much any victory point he can grab right now uh, bleeds Krypton away into the danger zone. You can see that Krypton is at 97 points and counting. 
Uh, so really, really, this is kind of end game scenario here for both players. Krypton just needs to hang on for quite a while. Uh, meanwhile, Air Taylor just needs to just keep being annoying and capping these things. You can see, uh, it looks like Infantry Pillage was up for a little while there. Uh, getting a lot of kills here. Oh my god, will he even get out of there? No, the last of the Wilson's Riflemen! And it looks like he gets out of there. The Browning Automatic Rifle guy uh, surviving there to the last. R.I.P. Bazooka Joe, as you can see, there's his bazooka on the ground. Uh, meanwhile, it looks like uh, Air Taylor could be setting himself up here. I want to take a peek once again over here at Air Taylor. Yes, yes, it looks like he's grabbing all of the munitions he needs from these supplies. You can see 135 munitions from that last one. And he definitely has a strafing run all lined up. Will he use it against this infantry squad right in front of him? Looks like they're trying to cap it. No, strafing run comes right across, uh, killing all but one of these grenadiers, uh, pinning the heck out of the rest of the other grenadiers over here. Uh, meanwhile, now you can see, oh, here we go once again with the heavy machine gun team just kind of firing away towards the center there. And check out this coverage here. This double heavy machine gun teams. Oh, and look at that. It looks like uh, I think uh, anti-tank gun perhaps even took that guy out. Anti-tank gun with nine infantry kills, by the way. You don't see that very often. Uh, meanwhile, just kind of constant coverage here. Uh, heavy machine gun team kind of backing up. The Tiger is now kind of moving into position here to see what he can get done. Man, those Tigers are so huge. Tiger, oh no, he needs to get out of there. Uh, pack anti-tank gun firing away. We do have a Duffy's anti-tank gun as well firing back and forth. Uh, it looks like ti <laughs> the Tiger has now got a damaged engine just barely retreating away here. Gonna have to go and find some engineers. Uh, let's see, hopefully he has plenty of them though somewhere down here. Uh, meanwhile, you can see this bunker just constantly getting used here. Uh, I wonder if he's even going to set this up as a repair bunker right now next to it. Uh, but that bunker now just dropping off two more bodies, uh, likely getting very full. Infantry pillage activated once again, and just look at these heavy machine gun teams. Wow! Doing so much suppression right now. Air Taylor really cannot afford any sort of a frontal assault at this point, unless he's maybe going to fire up his airborne or something to that effect. Uh, airborne right now kind of flanking around on the other side. You can see the Sherman tank doing a good job of just keeping all the troops away from this area. A uh, long barrel upgrade has been completed, by the way, for Air Taylor. Uh, and meanwhile, we do have Volksgrenadiers Vet 3 with their MP4 over here on the left uh, just kind of capping this fuel point once again and we have a strafing run oh right as I was looking here we have a strafing run uh, trying to just kind of keep them from capping that fuel point uh, they are pinned so they have to let go of it uh, but they'll probably just be able to start capping it again unless some infantry comes over here uh, two of them remaining pretty wounded and uh, meanwhile, it looks like the gr oh the airborne, knowing that they can win this game if they just cap a few of these victory points uh, throughout the rest of the time here. It looks like uh, very dangerous to cap while you're under fire from Vet Three <laughs> Grenadiers here. Uh, but I think Air, Air Taylor knows what he's doing. He knows he just needs to get these caps and keep bleeding out Krypton at all costs. Uh, so it looks like uh, these. <laughs> Paratroopers are going to pay with their lives uh, just to kind of cap that point. Meanwhile, Krypton instantly decapping it. But uh, over here on the right-hand side, it looks like now the Sherman tank has come out here to engage these two very wounded Volks Grenadiers. Uh, wow, doing one more casualty to them right now. And will they get it? Yes, they decap it, and hopefully they'll retreat. But it could be that Krypton's just so busy elsewhere. Yes, he doesn't see it, doesn't know that that's going on. Vet one for the Sherman tank. Big, big, big push in the center right now. We do have a large infantry ball charging in here. Uh, just trying to brute force their way into this victory point. Uh, you can see perhaps we'll have some sticky bombs. It's hard really to tell. These Sherman tanks are getting wrecked though. Combination of fire uh, from the anti-tank guns and the Tigers right now just doing tons of damage. Tiger firing right into this group of troops right here. Getting tons and tons of kills. Uh, single Wilson's rifleman left alive here. Gonna have to retreat. Uh, massive, massive casualties for Air Taylor. He was able once again to cap that point and uh, bringing him bringing uh, Krypton ever closer to zero. Uh, however, you can see that this uh, accomplished mortar team uh, backed up with the tank, backed up with the double anti-tank guns, just doing so much damage to uh, Air Taylor's troops right there. Uh, looks like this tank is right now firing back and forth here, and the King Tiger now getting picked off by Duffy's anti-tank gun. Hopefully we'll see Duffy's anti-tank gun use that free armor-piercing ability, uh, but no, it looks like he's just going to get a couple of shots and back away. It's coming down to the line, folks! Oh my god! So... We got Sherman Tank over here on the left, repositioning armor all over the place here. Uh, it's it's really hard to kind of keep track of where these anti-tank guns are going. You know he wants to be able to get this position here eventually. Uh, meanwhile, you can see that the pioneers in the center are recapping this whole place here for Krypton. Krypton uh, stabilizing at 84 for the time being versus 387 for Air Taylor. Uh, Air Taylor still has a sizable amount of anti-tank guns, Shermans. Airborne uh, and just massive, massive infantry. You can see all these infantry here getting nicely healed up here. Uh, but 
he is in that dangerous position now where all of his infantry has to kind of attack as one big blob because they've all been retreating at the same time. Uh, meanwhile, Krypton has got a pretty nice defensive line here, uh, having all of these heavy machine gun teams out there. And uh, I'm amazed to see, wow, look at this forward advancing heavy machine gun team. Hopefully they're going to get the heck on out of there. Accomplished mortar team even being built by Krypton. Perhaps uh, he was hoping to get some shots off here at this infantry as they're coming on in. Uh, I didn't even get a chance to see where that landed. No, it looks like he was just kind of firing away back there. Uh, firing into the base. Going to have to retreat. Uh, heavy machine gun team stuck in the building right now. So we do have a massive looking flank potential here uh, for Air Taylor. Uh, this is a, not a bad way to, to approach it, but it looks like Krypton is definitely going to reposition ahead of time. Uh, so he's got at least one anti-tank gun pointing the right, right way. Uh, I still hear mortars going off. <laughs> mortars, heavy machine guns repositioning. Oh god, everybody has repositioned this way. There's no way Air Tiller is going to be able to get in there. I think he knows it and he's backing off because, uh, man, that would be suicide if you charged on in right now with all of this stuff uh, pointed directly at him. But that's kind of the, that's kind of his problem right now, is he needs flanking. He needs multiple attacks, multiple multiple pronged attacks, that sort of thing. Uh, it sounds like we do have some mortars firing away here. Uh, Tiger is just laying into these uh, poor little engineers here, uh, doing a lot of damage, not getting any kills though. Oh, look at that single Panzer Shrek round taking it. Oh, and they're all gone, all gone like that. So every single engineer taken out right there. Uh, and mortars just constantly landing all over this area up here. Not a bad way to put pressure on huge blobs of infantry there. And it uh, looks like he's just kind of hitting that uh, anti-tank a little bit there too. Uh, boy, points are ticking down. 360 for Air Tiller and 84 for Krypton. Krypton just needs to hold on. Air Tiller just needs to cap anything. Cap stuff with paratroopers just needs to be annoying at this point in the game. So still anybody's game right now, uh, unless somebody makes a big blunder or something like that. You can see it looks like this anti-tank gun is being picked off by these grenadiers. It uh, doesn't matter though, Sherman coming in to save the day. Uh, oh no, the anti-tank gun does get taken out right there. Uh, both men falling over. And uh, meanwhile, a huge, huge ball of infantry once again moving out for Air Taylor. He needs to come up with something and come up with something fast. But man, there is just no room for uh, no room for infantry on this map right now. I mean, so many just good spread out positions of heavy machine guns, Austin Flak Panzer, Tiger. This is a really, really, really impressive uh, defense here. So it uh, looks like that Tiger just trying to use some of his down cycles to take out that anti-tank gun that's laying around. Uh, meanwhile, here we have a giant attack from Air Taylor now coming in towards the center, uh, likely gunning for this victory point. I don't see anything else moving around on the field right now. Maybe some engineers here looking to flank. Uh, we do have a Sherman tank just kind of backing them all up, and they are charging in right now. This is a big, massive push going on for Air Taylor. Could it be? He's putting all of the pressure onto these Grenadiers. These Grenadiers are really just getting hammered right now. You can see them uh, starting to fall over pretty quickly. Oswin Flak Panzer now moving in. Uh, looks like all of his infantry in the field, but no, getting instantly instantly suppressed uh, just a massive crossfire right now between double heavy machine guns uh, even with the smoke out there it doesn't matter it's way too much a uh, very costly attack right there taking quite a few infantry casualties having to back out and not really gaining anything uh, in the meanwhile you can see Krypton's medics just constantly constantly bringing back more and more medics uh, we even have these little repair uh, pioneers on the field right now for Krypton. So Krypton dominating, dominating central control. And uh, man, these free grenadiers are really going to start to add up. Take a look around the map now and see if we can find any other hope for things that it looks like uh, Air Taylor could possibly take care of this game. He is definitely trapped in his base right now. One big blob, a uh, couple of tanks, but not looking too good for him at all right now. Everything is on the line. Uh, will he be able to get one last attack? What is he going to do here? He's definitely taking way too many casualties. Uh, Grenadiers just continuing to poke on up, just kind of almost just uh, forward scouting there. Uh, Tiger picking away at everybody. It looks like while all that was going on, by the way, Krypton even back capped Air Taylor. Air Taylor now forced to recapture his own victory point. Uh, Tiger continuing to fire into these big blobs of troops moving up. Uh, you can see, oh, taking out another mortar team. Uh, looks like that Sherman tank was wrecked. Uh, meanwhile, this anti-tank gun. Oh, the anti-tank gun is wrecked as well. Uh, one last Sherman tank on the field here, still for Air Taylor. Not looking good at all. And we have a GG, a GG from Air Taylor. Looks like Krypton is going to be moving on to the semifinals. And man, that was a, that was down to the wire there for a minute. I really didn't think uh, that they were going to be able to uh, that he was going to be able to come back from that. Check that out. So. Uh, just kind of it looks like they're just kind of plopping around right now but 
Uh, I think Air Taylor is right now just kind of considering, he's reflecting on the battle and thinking about what happened, but you can see good mannered gentlemen right there. So I'd like to congratulate both players for a game well played. Uh, and Krypton is going to be moving on to the semi finals. All right, ladies and gentlemen. So I hope you enjoyed this. Once again, shout out to zenmagnets.com and stay tuned for more games uh, from the Harlequin Coho Invitational Tournament.